Hi guys, it's Ryan Webb at Ryan Webb Construction Limited. This is project number five. We're doing a loft conversion. We're only involved in the structural side of this project. As you can see, we're in a demolition stage. We're taking off, we've taken the tiles off, we're taking the battens off, and we're gonna very shortly start dismantling the structure of the roof. Uh, we'll be putting in the stills, there's a ridge beam and there's a, a beam taking the load of the floor in, the joist, floor in joists. So um, we'll be reinstating all those to make sure it meets the structural engineer's calculations. And then we'll be starting to build the roof. There'll be a big dormer on the back, uh, which is going to be spanning the whole width of the roof. It'll be a flat roof with a, a cold deck insulation uh, system, which uh, basically is probably irrelevant to most of you guys. But um, what it does is allow airflow over the top and coming out of the ridge. We'll be uh, overseeing the structural side of this project, but I look forward to showing you guys the finished product. Hi, this is Ryan Webb at Ryan Webb Construction Limited. This is project number five, the loft conversion. The previous video, I was telling you guys about how we're gonna be taking out the existing roof and uh, we're involved in the structural side of this project. Uh, we're five days in, we're halfway through uh, the structural part of the job. As you can see, we've got the stills in over here. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, logistically, it's hard to, to get the stills up. So we've had uh, the, the steel calculated. Uh, to be spliced and had, it, had the, the splice done by the uh, fabricator of the steel. Um, we've been doing uh, all the joist work and the structural side, so we're ready to start cracking on with the rest of the rafters and building the dormer. As you can see, we've had to do some uh, complicated trimming work around here, which has to be very precise uh, because this is where the staircase is coming up. It's a double kite winder, so uh, a lot you've got to be very, very accurate and square with your trimming. Otherwise, you can cause yourself a hell of a lot of problems uh, going forward and trying to get the stairs in. We're actually doing a staircase, uh, so you'll be able to see that in future videos or on uh, Facebook or on my website, maybe. Um, but as you can see, the floor's not down. We've uh, had to hold fire with putting this down uh, generally, uh, well, because uh, the electrician's got to come and do a lot of rewiring. We've got to have some plumbing work done for the rads. So bearing all that in mind, we're, we're really thinking ahead and really uh, trying to make sure it runs as smoothly as possible. As you can see behind me, uh, how the steel's loaded. It's a very, uh, uh, very uh, intricate style of doing this. Uh, we've got four by four posts, which is taking the load of the steel. And uh, we've got some collars in, which is uh, taking the floating ridge beam. It's quite, uh, it's quite an unusual way of doing it because usually you put the steel in at the ridge beam uh, directly in the center of the roof. But uh, because uh, we've got a load bearing uh, wall running off center to the middle of the building, it, it creates a complication. So what we've done is we've moved the steel off center and we're reloading everything and redistributing the load through that steel in a different method. It's all been passed by building control. We had the officer up here today and um, they've uh, passed everything, so everything's running smoothly at the minute. And um, if you come back to the next video, stay tuned, you'll see the finished product of the structural work. Hi guys, it's Ryan Webb of Ryan Webb Construction Limited. We're back at project number five, at loft conversion. As you can see, the framework's all done. Uh, we've got the joisting in now. The dormer has been formed, so it really opens up this room. As you can see, it's quite, it's, it's a lot bigger than it looks, but it, it's, it's obviously the best you're gonna get with a situation you've got in a loft. Sometimes you get a bit more room. Uh, in this one, they, uh, we've lost a room with the staircase, so uh, we've tried to, instead of losing uh, the room, We've, tried, we've divided this into two. As you can see, the stud work partitioning is all in. It's ready for the door linings and stuff to go in next. It still needs insulating. Uh, it's gonna be insulated with 100 mil Celotex in the walls all round. Then uh, the equivalent of 150 mil, whether it be 120 mil in between the uh, joist in and 25 over the top or 100 mil in between and 50 mil over the top. It's all to do with trying to meet those U values to, to get it through um, the building process. 
Uh, the building inspector does usually at that stage double check, make sure we're following everything to code. Um, me, myself, I double check and make sure I do it myself as well. Um, as you can see with the floorings down, um, with uh, just uh, an 18 mil tunnel groove chipboard, which is a moisture resistant board. Um, it's all been insulated in the floors and um, it's ready for the roof to start going on. Uh, on the top here, we've got a, a torch on a felt membrane, which will be sitting as a, uh, be on the flat roof. Um, we was originally going to have a dry ridge system, but that would mean um, it would have failed up the top where we've tried to maximise our ceiling height. Uh, so what we've done is we've transferred the airflow through uh, a fascia vent and we brought it out through some uh, vented tiles. There's always ways we could do things to try and tweak, uh, tweak things to make it work. Uh, so long as it meets code and it's going to work and it's going to look nice, I think th those uh, working around, around those principles, you will find yourself uh, with a better job overall. Um, we're back to do the staircase in a few weeks time, but uh, I hope you stay tuned for project number six, which is gonna be a, a single story wraparound extension. Hi, I'm Nathan Webb from Ryan Webb Construction. Uh, I've just been helping out with the uh, cutting and uh, lifting materials and stuff like that. Hi, I'm Tom from Ryan Webb Construction Limited. We're at the loft conversion, project number five. We've been here for approximately nine days now. We've done all the rip out, all the woodwork. It's all plied, ready for the roofers. Top job.